They are dreaded by ranchers, feared by children. They are the Lepies. A Lepi is a calf without a mother. She either abandoned it or she died. If a calf has not got up and sucked, we need to feed it colostrum. Colostrum is the cow's first milk. A calf has to have it in its first 24 hours or its chances of living are slim. A good cow will get her calf up and sucking as soon as it's born. A calf that is left wet and cold can suffer from hypothermia. We put this calf in a warming box and give it some milk to revive him. A calf needs to be fed two or three times a day. That's a lot. It makes new measuring. Seems like we're always mixing, washing, filling, or hauling buckets and bottles. We always name our lepis. Bollet, Sunny, and Claus are named after orphans in a book I am reading. Shiner 1 and Shiner 2 both have dark circles around their eyes. Maria was found on the west side of the river the day after we had seen the West Side Story. Hercules is a small but strong calf. He survived five days alone before we could find him. Sir Edmund Hillary would climb hay bales for his food in bottles. After we wean the lepies from their bottles, we feed them grain and hay. If you leave the barn door open, they'll help themselves. They can mow the lawn and fertilize at the same time. They're a nuisance to have around the yard. Lepies are not money makers. A good cow will raise a better calf at less expense. Lepies have terrible manners, but are great at entertaining guests. You have to have them suck on your fingers, Mom. Mm. It's so cute. Even though lepies are hard work, I like them as friends. I take peas and snow beans, wrap them up in seeded lettuce, and then go and feed. Lepies are always glad to see you, no matter how you're dressed. When it's cold and stormy, there's plenty of other things I'd rather be doing than feeding lepies.
You need four legs to stand around here. Come on. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Hold her up.